So now we're going to talk about moldy bread. So clear notice mold on the last slice of bread in a plastic bag. The area covered by the mold was about one square uh, millimeter. She left the bread alone to see how much mold would grow. The next day, the area of the mold had doubled and it doubled again the day after. So if I'm looking at that, if the doubling pattern continues, how many square millimeters will cover Will it cover four days? Well, if you remember, day one is one. Day two, we doubled that, so we made two. Day three, we doubled that, so it would be four. And then day four, if you double that, will be eight. So I just kind of made a small table where this is uh, day one. I'm going to put D2, D3, and D4. So here we have eight square millimeters. So I'm going to put mm squared. So now represent the relationship between the area in square millimeters and the mold um, covered by the mold and the number of days since the mold was spotted using a table. So here um, we have the day, which I'm going to write as D. And then here, this is the area. Oh, and I, I actually am wrong up here because day zero um, was one. This would be day one, two, three, and four. So this would be 16. My mistake. So day zero, she started with one square millimeter. So after the first day, it doubled to Second day, we're at four. Day three, we're at eight. And then day four, the fourth day of the experiment, she's at 16. So to write an equation uh, for this, what we would do is remember our exponential equation is of the form y equals a times b to the x where a is your initial value and b is your growth factor. Now, in this case, we're going to use a, um, capital A, to stand for the area of the mold. And our initial value was 1 times our growth factor was 2 to the day power. And in math, when we write 1 times 2 to the d, we would simplify this as a equals 2 to the d power. Let me kind of just write a little line there to separate that for you. So to make a graph of that, our input is our day. So we would have day 0, 1, 2, three, and four. And again, this is a rough sketch. And then this is going to be our area. And I'm going to count by fives. So five, 10, 15, and 20. So day zero, we had one. Day one, it was two. Day two, we're at four. Day three, that doubles to eight. And then eight times two for day four is 16. And we have our exponential growth uh, curve. So now, is the relationship between the area covered by the mold and the number of days in function, a function? So if you look at, yes, the area is a function of the number of days. So we would say the area is a function of the number of days. Again, when we say is a function of, that's our input. And then here, this would be our output.